It is still raining. This is Wednesday, so I don't know. <clears throat> supposed to clear up Friday, but then chance of rain Saturday again. But I don't know. We might still be able to have the pull. I don't know. We're trying to get a couple things ready for the pull. We got this. Uh, <clears throat> Got to put a steel flywheel on this tractor for one of our customers who happened to on a stock John Deere it just has four holes bolts that hold the flywheel on John Deere stock ones come like on a 40 20 44 30 and stuff like that they have four bolts <clears throat> some of these higher horsepower applications we like to put a little bit more bolts in them, so sometimes we have to drill and put. Uh, and we have to drill and tap the crankshaft flange to put other bolts in. So we put six bolts in there for what we're doing. So we got to had to make this jig up to drill them straight. Machine this out of a chunk of steel to insert that in here in the hole that we're going to drill make a pretty good tight fit kind of a, a guide for the drill bit you drill a hole don't want to drill any deeper than what this is and then when I get the pilot holes drilled I'll take this back and machine out for the the size <clears throat> drill bit that we're going to drill for the bolt hole to cut the thread so yeah and it goes in there and so we got to get working on that through there can't don't want to go any farther than where I got that tape because I don't want to drill all the way through the flange on the uh, crankshaft right yet I'm gonna drill a big hole through it then I'll have to go through it and see if we can keep the chips from falling inside the hard part is getting enough pressure through here Try not to drill all the way through. I want to stop right about where I have that blue tape. So uh, I don't want to go all the way through on the pilot hole. Here you got the pilot hole drilled. Now I'll go drill this one. So I'll pull this out and go ahead and drill it out for the tap size twenty seven sixty four here we go chuck them up in the lathe see how straight he is Oh yeah. Good mistake. Very 
are good. Put tape on the big bit so I know it's getting close to going through the end when the tape hits my guide. And then I'll, when I get both of them that way, I'll just peel the tape off, put some heavy grease on the end of it, and drill through the last bit slow and it should catch most of the chips and metal instead of it falling down in the crankcase. So, there you go. some tapping. Always use this tap magic on the tap. One of my viewers, an old friend of mine, will recognize this. <laughs> he gave it to us years ago when he was working at uh, Chesapeake Marine Fasteners. <laughs> hey, we uh, got the threads all in there. These are threaded holes. You may be wondering, maybe you weren't even wondering, I don't know, but in case you were, or even if you weren't wondering, <laughs> how do we keep the chips from both drilling and tapping these holes from falling in the inside there and going down in the engine, the uh, metal shavings and all that? Well, we uh, simply took the air hose, and uh, this is the uh, crankcase ventilation hole, and... Uh, Pressurize the crankcase with compressed air and let the air blow out through here all the chips, all the uh, metal shavings. And uh, blows everything this way instead of going down in the engine. So, thought that was a pretty good way to do it. Anyhow, uh, now we just got a chance for the whole. And I gotta balance the flywheel. I gotta put the ring gear on it. I gotta get the balancing. We'd like to have this thing ready by Saturday. This is Wednesday. But I don't know if the weather's gonna be right. We the weather's just gonna be one of them iffy kind of weathery days Saturday for the pool that uh might keep people from coming even if it doesn't rain and I don't know, it could rain out, it just it just isn't a good situation, so I don't know what we're going to do. I'll update you, let you know. See ya. Getting ready to do some tapping. Always use this tap magic, going to tap. One of my viewers, an old friend of mine, will recognize this, because <laughs> he gave it to us years ago when he was working at uh, Chesapeake Marine Fasteners. <laughs>